Hi, Abigail from Grainco here. I just wanted to make a little video to go out to everybody to explain um, the shock news that we got last night. So I'm sure most of you know by now, but yesterday it was announced at about 7.30 that estate agents could go back to work, which was a bit of a surprise for all of us following on from Boris's announcement on Sunday. Now, we've been expecting for a little while that we would get notified that we might be going back to work in about three weeks. Was that, that was actually what we were expecting to hear from Boris on Sunday. And when it wasn't forthcoming, we thought, well, OK, um, we've got a bit more time. We'll just keep on doing what we're doing. And um, so hearing on yesterday evening, you know, social media amongst the state agents blowing up about our ability to go back to work and open our office and do valuations and, and viewings, it was bittersweet in a way because we've been preparing behind the scenes to be able to go back to work, but we were expecting to do it under circumstances where the infection rate was much lower and although we were well aware that we were going to be observing social distancing and having to have squeaky clean hygiene routines and health and safety policies and risk assessments and new policies and procedures for our viewing appointments and valuations process, we weren't expecting it to happen so soon and at a time when still so many people are sadly, you know, losing their lives to this horrible illness. So we've made the decision that we won't be immediately rushing back to our office. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, wow, we're back, we're back to work. Well, for us, we've never not been at work this whole time. We've been working our socks off behind the scenes our focus has been somewhat different. You know, we haven't been focusing on um, listing new properties and, and getting new business. We've been focusing on keeping the ones that we've got on the market, keeping people interested in them, you know, sending out virtual videos of them, doing virtual valuations, having virtual conversations with our clients. And on the rental side of things, we've been focusing all of our attention on dealing with emergency maintenance, getting our self ready for all the new compliance regulations that are coming in, making sure we're compliant with all the current legislation and obviously dealing with people that are struggling financially, both from a landlord and a tenant point of view, trying to manage all of those expectations and difficult situations and having those difficult conversations. But obviously, as of yesterday evening, our focus has to has to move. Now, as I said, we're not going to be reopening the office immediately. We had always planned for the 1st of June. That's what we, you know, from, from what Boris said on Sunday and what I've been told from other sources, that was what we were expecting to happen. Now, we've made plans, we've made orders, we've got lots of PPE already in hand and some that's are arriving next week. And the stuff that's arriving next week is crucial to be able to reopen the office. So until we're ready, the office will remain closed to the public and we will be conducting everything from home as we have been doing. We are expecting to start viewings either on Friday or Monday, depending on having our correct procedures in place. Today, we've been writing up our risk assessments. We've been risk assessing our office. We have to risk assess every member of staff. And this also leads on to what we'll be doing with people when we're making viewings. So just so, so people know what to expect, we will be asking you a few questions about your current state of health, have you, you know, who you've been in contact with, and we will be expecting you to bring a mask with you to the viewing. We will be wearing gloves, we'll be wearing masks, we'll be wearing shoe covers, we will be bringing antibacterial wipes and gel with us for people to use at the appointment. We'll be opening up the property so that you don't have to touch any, any doors, any handles, anything like that. So all you will be able to do is walk through the property. We will be waiting outside for you. We will maintain that distance at all times and completely comply with all of the government guidelines. And it, it will be different. It will be a strange new world for us to be working in. And you will be viewing the property just by yourself and maybe with other, one other member of your household, but there will be maximum two people. And one of them has to be someone that you live with coming to the viewing with you. We will not be entertaining any more open houses. People will be viewing in, in singular groups of two and um, viewings will be spaced out so that you don't risk coming into contact with anybody else other than us from a socially distanced space, um, but you won't be coming into, into contact with other people. Now, there are, there are 
a lot of people that want to view properties with us and we will ask that you just be patient as we work through that backlist of people. We will expect you to have watched a video before you come out to the property because we want to make sure that every time we take that risk and we ask you to take that risk of coming to view a property, it is on something that you've already seen. So we know that you are in a position where you are more or less satisfied with the property, but you just need to reassure yourself by looking at the physical the physical being of, of the um, of the building. And we will also be asking on a sales side and rental side some extra questions to make sure that you are in a position to, to proceed because the government's given us an opportunity to reopen the part of our business that we, we, we had to put on hold. So with that comes a great responsibility and it's a massive weight on our shoulders and for my team, for all of our clients and for every member of the public that we're going to come in contact with, we have to make sure that we are doing every single thing that we can to minimise the risk of any infection. And I'm just asking that you please don't get offended if you, ask, if, if you think we're asking too many questions. We're doing it for your own safety as much as anybody else. And it is very difficult for us to manage that risk. And that really is the most important thing for us. That's why we're not rushing into reopening our offices. And we want to be, we want to be seen to be clean. We want to make sure that we've got all the necessary PPE in place and that everyone understands what's going to happen at those viewings so that people aren't disappointed. As I said, please bear with us because we've got um, about 400 people to call from all the people that have inquired over the last eight weeks that are still interested after looking at videos of properties that we've sent them. So there is a lot of demand out there. And, um, you know, whilst we've been busy, we expect to be even more busy over the coming weeks, dealing with all of those inquiries and working through them. Obviously, the amount of people that we can get to do a viewing at a property is significantly reduced. So we have to space those appointments out. And it will take us a lot longer to get through all the inquiries because we can't invite you all to come at the same time. So just bear with us, be patient, and we will get through this. Where there are people living in the property, we will ask them the same risk assessment questions that we'd be asking people who are attending the property. And we will be asking vendors to go out of the property um, or landlords or tenants, whoever's living at the property. We will ask them to, to go out of the property whilst we carry out the viewing. The same will occur when we come around to do a valuation at your property if we're lucky enough to be invited by yourselves. And we will do the follow up, the discussion, the chats, which is the bit that we enjoy the most, particularly me, because everyone knows I love a chat. And um, we'll do that bit with you virtually because it's it again, it's, it's just trying to minimise as much as possible the risk of exposing um, ourselves to you to you and, and you to us in terms of in, infection and really that's where we've got to focus our attention we will be very careful with everything and it's why we're not rushing to reopen because we've got all these plans that we need to put in place and just make sure that we are watertight as much as we can and that we are doing every single thing that we can in the correct way to make sure that everybody in the community is kept safe because the, the borough that we work in, in Brent, has been one of the hardest hit by coronavirus and um, we just want to do whatever we can to keep those numbers down. And we, also, we don't want this thing to spike. We don't want people to go crazy and for the infection rate to rise and there to be a second lockdown because that will be even harder for everybody to bear. So let's gently come out of this lockdown. Let's put health before wealth and... For everybody just to feel that you know that that they're safe they're secure and that they're in good hands with us so like i say bear with us if you've got any concerns just give us a call on the office our lines are always open 0208 903 3909 or send us an email you can email me at abigail gray at grayandco.co.uk and you'll be able to get hold of all of the team on their various emails office is uh, working up and running has been this whole time as a lot of you will know from all the conversations and emails we've been sending out so stay well stay safe and as much as you can stay at home and keep yourself free and away from any infection so 
Till I'm able to see you all again, take care. Thank you for listening if you've managed to get through this. Sorry it's been a bit long, but we'll be in touch soon. Take care. Bye-bye.